हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थर्टी एट ऑफ गिट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म गिट क्लोन कमेट पुश एंड सिंक यूजिंग वी एस कोड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई ऑलरेडी हैव डिस्कस गिट ऑपरेशन यूजिंग गिट बैस सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू राइट कोड और कमांड्स टू परफॉर्म गिट ऑपरेशन एंड हाउ टू मैनेज गिट पब्लिक रिपो एंड प्राइवेट रिपो यूजिंग वी कोड so before going through this part 38 please visit my part 37 that is using git with visual studio code this is the basic using vs code how to perform git operations and then you should perform you should uh, refer my git operations using a uh, vs code in part 38 that is this one and in this video i'll discuss few points so uh, point number 1 is uh, know about git clone using vs code so before doing commit or push we need to do clone the repo for this we need to go to repo github repo and copy that repo url all right so what i'll do here is i already have opened my github repo that is the public repo is uh, the github repo name is git private so i need to clo clone this repo so to clone this repo what i'll do is click on this uh, code and you can see the https tag and you will get one url and copy that okay once you copy this one you, uh, you should go to your vs code okay and you should select this source control and uh, once you select the source control you should click on uh, that is clone repo uh, uh, button is there you should click this once you click this you just you should uh, paste that url and you can see once you paste your url you will get one drop down called clone for clone from url and this is the uh, UI, this is the url you, you, you can see here right so what you'll do is we just uh, select this clone from url and then it will ask you where you want to save this repo to your local once you select the location then select the repository location so i'll select here that is uh, i want to select my before location here so this one i want to save my uh, repo in this path all right so what i'll, I'll i should give some repo no need to give some repo name i just select here this folder and select repo repository location okay once you select it you, you, you should you can see one uh, operations going on and it is asking you then it will ask you would you like to open the clone repository all right so here what i will do is i'll click on open okay and once you click the open you can see uh, that is i am getting the github repo whatever we, i have cloned and also i in my path i am getting the github repo here in my local directory and this this path i opened in my vs code and you need to compare these files so this repo has three files and in my vs code it also showing three files that index.html my file.html and style.css all right so guys earlier it was showing two options open and open new window if you click on open a new window then you will get one pop-up line that is do you trust the authors of the files in this folder so you should select the checkbox and click on yes okay and that is the i trust the author and what i'll do is uh, i can see this files in my github repo and it is same as the uh, git private in in our github uh, remote repository all right so uh, uh, that is uh, i already this one is available in my local directory and i i am able to open that github repo using vs code all right and what is the point number two is know about git commit using vs code all right so uh, what i'll do is i will create a new file that is uh Sat prakash right dot html okay so what i'll do is 
here I want to commit this new file to my remote GitHub. So you can commit the changes of existing file as well as a new file. So before committing, you need to configure Git in your local so that we need to open new terminal. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is I just uh, click on terminal and a new terminal. So guys, you can see this path is showing here F drive and this is the path where my GitHub repo is available. All right. So we need to configure our, our username and email of GitHub account before commit any changes to GitHub remote repo. It is also same as push and pull operations. Uh, so you can get your username and email from the uh, that is GitHub settings. If you go, if you see here, go to settings if you check here uh, not this one if you click here of your look uh, github account you, you can see here this is the github username and while login whatever you use your github email that is the email we need to configure in your vs code all right and also you can get this in settings go to your settings here all right and you can see here public profile right so this is my public email so you can see your own email here and this is the uh, github username all right so uh, so so this is these two things we need to configure before pull or push any changes so there is uh, there is few uh, there is one command uh, that is set up for github user email and user name all right so what what is the dash two commands is for global this is for all repository we can put here all right so this is the code and this is the command here so i will go here paste it here so i just use my uh, email all right and click enter and same way we need to configure our github username so git config has space dash dash global user dot name and this is the uh, that is my github username and its setup is done all right so same way if you want to set up for local you should mention your git config you just remove this dash dash global and user dot uh, just put your user dot email and your put your user uh, email all right and same way if you want to set up uh, your current and that is username and email uh, for local and this is for current repository then you need to config that this command is git conf git config user dot name and put your user name you should remove that dash dash global so this global is used for all repository but if you want for local you should remove that dash dash global from your command line all right guys once you set up this we need to check here what is the current uh, username what you have configured so git config dot username user dot name so you can see i can see the username is this one is my current username what you have configured all right uh, we need to clear the screen okay so once it is done guys uh, if you go to the source control you can see here all right uh, you can see one uh, you you uh, icon right so that means on track we need to add these changes to staging area so how to do it so what i'll do here is uh, i need to uh, put some um, message here all right that is uh, okay before that we then now can see this file symbol changes okay
okay guys so, so what I'll do is click on so you can see one plus symbol here right so click on it so guys once you click that plus symbol we can uh, we can see the symbol changes from u to a all right so that means index is added to my staging area so this file is added successfully to my staging area all right so before commit what i will do is i need to add some commit message here so commit message is added a new file and once you click on add a new file commit message and you can see there is option called commit here and if you click on drop down there is uh, other options commit and push commit and sync so as of now i need to click on only commit operation so just click on commit So guys here you can see the commit has been successfully uh, done here and in sync you can see one one option here right if you click on here that is git private git push one commits to origin slash master all right so that's about uh, commit and if you come to my uh, presentation so point number three is know about git push using vs code so guys once it is committed now it's time to push those changes to github remote repo so we can do it using two ways that is using sync changes and second one is push operation so sync changes is it will first pull from your remote github repository and then push it but sync will do pull and push both so push is push operation is it will only push your changes to your remote github repository so once you click on sync changes okay then you get a pop-up and click ok that is here is in origin slash master so the master is the default branch in the github remote repository all right and uh, now I'll, I'll click this sync changes and here you can see that this action will pull and push commits from and to origin slash master master is the default branch in our github remote repo you can see here right this is the branch only one branch that is the default branch that is master branch so what i'll do is i'll click ok here now some process is going on here for seeing changes so guys here you can see uh, that is that is there is no uh, file spending for commit that is for sync or push and I can see there is no pending as well here in this tab okay now this new file that is satyaprakash.html which I have created this is this will be available in our github remote repo with commit message so if I go to github commit github uh, repository I just refresh it so I can see that new file is available in my github repository that is satyaprakash.html and this is the uh, commit message all right so we go for uh, that is what is the difference between sync and push changes okay so sync changes it will first pull from your remote github repository and then push it so sync will do both pull and push operation but push it will only push your changes to your remote github repository all right so fourth point is i already have discussed what is the difference between sync changes and push so uh, point number five is perform git clone add commit and push changes using commands in vs code terminal okay so earlier we just used some source control and click on button of commit and uh, sync changes and if you click on that three button here you can see all the options pull push clone fetch commit pull and push uh, all all the github related operation uh, come options here but we need to perform operation using terminal that is using command line 
So what I'll do is uh, I will repeat all the steps of what we have done is okay. So uh, I I need to close this. That is close folder. and go to my path okay okay so guys here in this path i'll use for clone using vs terminal so go to my this one vs code a uh, new terminal okay cd i need to map to my directory okay now it's open all right so what i'll do is uh, i need to clone the repo so what is the command is so for clone the repo i need to copy this path go to vs terminal and this command is git clone and i'll paste this url okay and click enter so it starts cloning this repo and it is done if you go come here this repo this uh, path you can see this my repo that is git private and all these files which is same as your, our github uh, remote repository and step number two is uh, i will create a new file all right go come here and i i want to uh, okay i want to open that folder so click on to open folder come to my path okay this one my git repo terminal git private so this is my path i open in my vs code come to again to new terminal So uh, what I will do here is uh, I need to add a new file so click on this new file that is uh, that is the employee.css okay this file I have created and I need to uh, add this file to my github remote repository so before that I need to add this file to staging area so what is the command is git add and I need to add this file name that is employee dot CSS okay and click enter it's added successfully so uh, if you'll come to my source control okay now I can see this file it, it added and the you can see the icon is a that is the it means this file is added to my staging area all right and then i need to commit this file with message so, so we need to configure our user name and email of github account before commit any changes to github remote repo so i already i already have used this so i'll again use it okay before I use it i just use again that is whether it is activated or not using my previous command so git config user dot name yeah so that means no need to put again that to url to uh, user email and for user name commands because i already have configured before so it not it does not require to uh, execute these two commands for the uh, github configuration so it's showing the activate username is this one right currently okay 
now what i'll do is i need to commit right without using that commit button using our uh, settings so you just using this using our uh, you know terminal or and command so git commit hyphen m and the new file css is added so my it means my commit is successfully done all right then we need to push the uh, perform the push operation so once the changes are committed then it's time to push changes to remote github repository so remember here is the default branch is master so command is git push origin and master all right this is the push operation command once it is uh, then I'll need to click enter so push operation is done guys then I need to go to my remote repository uh, refresh it so I can see that employee.css new file is created here right with the commit message so in this way we can do git operation using vs term terminal and commands all right we need to clear the screen okay and uh, uh, step num uh, that is point number six is work on existing file using commands in VS code terminal so this is one most important scenario uh, what I'll do for is so I need to check here satyaprakash.html all right so click on it this file does not have any code here all right and same way if you click on the satyaprakash.html also this uh, this uh, file has no uh, codes in this uh, in vs code as well all right so we need to update some code here so the code is we need to put h1 tag uh, okay and write something that is hello world all right and save these changes once you save these changes guys you can see there is one a mark is coming that means it's it's a uh, file is in modified mode also if you go to source control you can see the existing file is modified so that i can see one option called m and it's uh, that is modified all right so uh, what i'll do is we need to update the hello wall uh, of this uh, empty file all right so here the for once i updated the file the content the status updated to m that means it is modified okay now what what i'll do i need to add this to staging area so come to my uh, terminal so staging area is git add and I need to mention this file name HTML and click enter so it is added to staging area all right if you click on source control that means it is added right the index is added to my staging area and the next uh, that is the next line of code is we need to commit it right next command is commit so commit is git commit uh, hyphen m uh, git commit hyphen m and co I need to put here commit message uh, file is updated and click enter so that means one file changed one insertion and this file is updated it is the commit message all right and once the changes are committed then it's time to push the changes to remote github repository so remember here's the here is the master is the default branch so for push git push origin uh, master click enter 
so guys here my master uh, it is my push uh, operation it's done and whatever changes we have made it successfully pushed to our github remote repository so i need to check the updated content of satyaprakash.html after push the changes to remote github repository so i'll go to my remote repository uh, refresh it so uh, you can see of satyaprakash.html this is the commit message is updated to file is updated if you click on that satyaprakash.html file i can see before that there is no uh, content here but after push i can see the content that is h1 tag using that inside h1 tag the text is hello world right so in this way we can uh, perform git operation on the existing file uh, using vs code terminal all right guys and also the commit message is updated here right file is updated of this existing file all right so guys that's all about how to perform git operation using vs code uh, that is using source control and using vs terminal using uh, commands all right so uh, this is my channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dot net dot net core c sharp sql server angular github azure and entity framework so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day